Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across low or out of memory errors when you are attempting to copy files in Windows 10. So I'm going to go over a couple different methods about how to resolve this pop-up you might be getting. So if you're in the middle of an action, such as copying files, and you're coming across this problem, this tutorial will be for you. So first thing we're going to do is open up the task manager. So right click on a blank area of your taskbar and then select task manager. Underneath apps there should be something that says Windows Explorer. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select restart. Give it a moment to restart. And once that's done, attempt to copy the file again and see if that has been able to resolve the problem. If not, there's one further thing we can try to go about resolving the problem, and that'd be to close out of here. Now you're going to go open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Once again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, hit enter your keyboard. Let it run. It will begin running a system file checker utility here, so it will take some time to run. Let it run through. It already is showing that I need to reboot in order to actually start it because I've already run this command before starting this tutorial. But if you have not started this command, it should say it will take some time. It should say beginning system scan this process will take some time. And then it will go through the verification process. So pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. Once it's done, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.